Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Greedy Craft, where today we're going to be getting some waystones, exploring some more of the Twilight Forest, and uh, yeah, getting another couple of upgrades. Alright, so here we go. We Oh, there's a battle tower right there. Um, made it to where the next boss is going to be. So we need one Yeti fur, uh, and I think it's for the Twilight Shield. Yes, oh, we need an Alpha Yeti fur, yeah, which is the boss. So let's go check this out. Should be an entrance somewhere. And oh my gosh, there's a lot of monster boxes in here. Oh, there's monster boxes everywhere. Yeah, I've discovered quite a few of them uh, throughout the Twilight Forest. And they can be a little bit tough, so <laughs> let's, uh, I guess we probably want, oh, magic gives you experience gain. Hey, that's probably useful. Experience gain, I've never seen that before, so that's cool. Um, it's a little bit dark, but let's deal with these things. That's not a bad one. Yeah, I am wondering if the Zombies Having Wings is to do with Valentine's Day. Which is today. Uh, it's probably not Valentine's Day anymore by the time this episode comes out. Man, that's noisy. Alright. Hey, an Enderpearl. That's perfect. Hey, that's actually really cool. Um, because now, 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 uh, we can make a warp stone, which will let us teleport back to the base, but I actually want to use that to make a waystone. And then we can kind of treat this like a town portal. If you ever played, you know, like Diablo 2, Diablo 3, those sort of games. Um, and now we can, and it doesn't even cost experience, so we can shoot home and then we'll be able to shoot back here, uh, which is going to be useful if we die. Which, which might happen, and also useful for dropping off all this loot we're getting. Because there's quite a bit of it. Got another monster box to deal with. Skeletons. Alright, at least they don't have bows. Alright, I think we're good. Um, we don't have to fight these smaller guys. We only need to fight this main boss. Oh dear, okay. I guess we're fighting this guy then. <laughs> yeah, good luck throwing me when I've got the grappling hook. Wait, where did he go? Did he forget we were fighting? I think he forgot we were fighting. There's the main guy. I don't know how tough he's going to be. He's got 900 health. Don't run near the monster box. Dead FPS. Let's get him. It's such a mess. Come back here. No oh dear, that hurts. Yeah, we got him. Nice. And hey, you've got some Alpha Yeti fur. Now, Nomi could make armor out of this, but I think it's only used for toilet shields. Ooh, we can make Alpha fur stuff. Cool, so that's that taken care of. Now, we could go and fight. Take the shield off. We could go and fight um, the boss in the middle. Let's stand in the light. Where's the... There's the light. Uh, the boss in the middle, and that lighter... Well, the light blue bit, not the white bit. Uh, but we don't need to progression-wise. Actually, let's see what we got as a quest reward for beating that boss. 
Oh, we do need to do that. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't think we need to normally for the progression. Sponsor's was chest fragment. All right. Um, okay, we are going to fight the Snow Queen then. And somebody did mention in the comments you can push F7 to disable the real first person 2 mod. Um, which gets rid of just something that annoys me. Which is this pickaxe in your face. At F7, yeah, we'll disable that. Um, also, holding a shield seemed to stop the at least the item in your hand from being in your face all the time. Oh. Ah, here we go. So, if you find a big ice wall like this, this is where the Snow Queen is. I think you may have to beat the Yeti before you can get up here. Um, or you'll just get kind of like frozen. Oh, don't fall down there. And there are penguins up here. Oh, Pingu. And hey, here's what we're after. But do I try a chance cube? Let's put down a waystone. Just in case. And we'll set it a little bit away from the chance cube. Nice. We could teleport back here if we need to. Well, that chance cube did nothing. Which, when it comes to chance cubes, that's sometimes not a bad thing. But yeah, here is the tower where the Snow Queen is. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's go check this out. Are these actual? Ah, oh, I thought those might have been ME controllers. Let's check this building out, though. Oh, poop. Alright. <laughs> Nutritional value? Um, I don't think I'm going to eat poop. Deja vu. Speed. A horrendous amount of speed. Jump boost. A horrendous amount of jump boost. That sounds like trouble. We've got 27 somethings. Some more storage components. I'm going to have to set up an ME system. I'm not taking the poop. Fancy lanterns. Oh, those are cool. Oh. <laughs> Something crashed. Alright, we're back. Uh, just saw over here. There's a free waystone. I'm definitely taking this. Nice. Cool, so now we can set one up somewhere that we feel like uh, we need to keep easy access to. So much stuff. All right, let's deal. Let's deal to the Snow Queen. Um, if you wanted to, you could cheese it by just, if you've got the grappling hook, grappling hook your way to the top and dig your way in. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna go through at least a little bit of it and see what it's like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool if you haven't checked it out before. These blocks are kind of nice to sometimes build with as well. It's very dark in here though. We need to get night vision. And is there not a ladder? Well, I might just use the grappling hook. <laughs> I mean, we've got it. Cool. Hey, chests. An ice sword? Eh, it's pretty nice. Um, we could potentially find some pretty cool stuff in here. Now, like the tribo I mentioned an episode or two ago. And I actually would really like that. Hey, enchanted books. That's nice. That might take those arrows. In case we find the tribo. Oh, ender bow. I think this teleports you when you shoot it. Yeah, I keep seeing this pop up. The Elysian project. Um, but I haven't found the book. I think we can get it out of the book that can turn into any other book. 
But I don't know where I left that. But I definitely want to check it out, because I think there is kind of a story to this mod pack as well. Ooh, ice bow. That's, that's a pretty good bow. I think we'll take that one. And we got a nightly plate. Not craftable. Let's put on this heart bauble. I'm not sure what that does. But it sounds good. I mean, we can just kind of cheekily run across here. Yeah. Well, there's a chest down there I probably want to grab. Some Aurora blocks. Yeah, not that, not that cool. Okay, we might be getting close to the boss. I think the Ice Queen is just up here. And I mean, I think we're ready. We got this ice bow, we got some arrows. Yeah, this is the good one. Oh, there's the ice queen. Right, the trick to this fight is you can't really attack her from underneath. Um, since we've got a grappling hook, we can't kind of do this. You'd have to wait for it to come down. Oh, there is things here. But you will occasionally do that. Kind of just attack through that gap. I mean, if you're going to hide at the top of the building, we should arrows in there. Oh no, they had us. <laughs> Maybe a little bit cheesy <laughs> using the grappling hook. Just a tad. Alright, we won't just use the grappling hook. Come on then. Do something. That's kind of like the only way you can attack her. Which would take, honestly, a long time considering the, the amount of health that that boss has. So yeah, we're just going to grappling hook. I don't want to spend all day fighting this boss. Some weird graphical stuff going on. Alright, let's finish you off with the sword. It's going to be really anticlimactic. Oh, don't stand underneath. Nice. Inventory full of junk. Oh, inventory really full of junk. Um, oh, we got a tribo. Nice. That's oh, just snowballs. Perfect. Yeah, the tribo is sick. Shoots three arrows at once. Yep. Yep. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, now we just need to get down from this tower. Oh, dear. Might mine a bit of this. Just because it's a cool building block. But uh, yeah, inventory is pretty full. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Nice. There's a little bit of that to build with. Ooh. 
Now this is a powerful sword. 40 damage. But unfortunately it has one durability. So yeah, it kind of breaks after one or two uses. Hey, interestingly, there's that armor that we can't craft. Alright, that'll do me. Now we just need to get down from this tower. Down to the waypoint, which is pretty easy because we have grappling hooks. Like, oh dear, there's blocks floating. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Still a little bit scary. Right, I'll pop back and uh, organize some of my stuff. And we'll probably collect some quest rewards as well before we carry on. Alright, <laughs> just need to claim some of these quests. Let me get an ice bow, a nice sword. Corathium is kind of cool. Experience is nice. A miner's tree sapling. An epic loot crate. A massive dank null. Um, that's that's cool. That's I'm replacing that. This is the best one. Cool. I must just put the same things in it, and this guy can go in there. You've been replaced. Awesome. Awesome, because that would have been reasonably expensive to make. Oh, we've got some more milestones for taking a certain amount of damage. Oh, Prudentium ingots. We got some challenges. We made a lunchbox. And Frenium ingots. Alright. We got some food. <laughs> we cut the Dank Nail uh, as a loot box thing. A Dank Nail docking station. Wait, what does that do? Is that for like taking items out of it? A monster masher. Hey, that's kind of cool. I think it's like a mob farm. It doesn't contain spawners. Uh, yeah, what does this thing do? Right click with a dank null. I wonder if this would empty items out of it, which would be kind of cool. Like if we put that there. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't know. We got cooking for blockheads, which means we got a free sink and fridges. Whoops. <laughs> Spawn a cow and a jar for making cow in a jar. Human. Mm, we got some human. And for the main quest line, reach the very bottom of the world. Yes, we did do that. Done. I think all those quests are done. Now we've got some food to put in the fridge. We should probably do that. We've got a loot crate ticket. Gauntlet of, de huh? Gauntlet of Dexterity. Dexterous modifier. Ooh. Gauntlet material. Uh, I think this just goes on armor. I haven't got an armor station down here. Um, that's probably pretty useful though. Uh, we'll have a look at that. Let's just check this food into this fridge. And let's open up some more loot crates. Hi, cool. <laughs> the book I was after. Slime cube, nice. So this book. Here we go. Constitution. Okay. Only unreality can save reality. In a new world that makes everyone's dream come true. Uh-huh. The world is already ruined. We can only save ourselves if we unite together. Alright. Alright. Okay. Uh Ulyssian Law. Includes prohibited events inside the Ulyssian public user interface. Okay. Alright, interesting. Logs. Log number one. So there's a great day. The Ulyssian project is founded. 
Apparently it's 2044. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I guess we'll find out more as we progress. Now, what's in this epic loot bag? Something. Flux cores. Oh, flux networks is in the pack. Cool. Potion of chance. Random effect. Hmm. Legendary loot bag. We've got a magic mirror. Teleports you to your spawn point. Potentially useful. A sin pendant. Crafting component. We could make a gluttony pendant. Eat faster, grants sinful buff, damage and armor when you eat. Wrath Pendant, gives plus two damage. Nice, I guess we'll hold on to that. And Dynamite, Lapis. Chemical Brass is nice, a disc. Alright, we need to get back to our uh, junk chest. I think soon we might be making a... <laughs> AE2 storage system uh, because we got a lot of stuff and I'm just kind of putting it in chests. More delivery orders, stuff we don't know what it is, paper, a red envelope, happy new year, happy lunar new year. All right what does that do? Found 75 experience, got 130 experience. Nice. Alright, let's go test out this gauntlet of dexterity. Or is this a weapon thing? No, it doesn't do anything. I suppose it's from Construct's armory, so... It makes sense that it only goes on our Tinker's Construct armor. Modifiers can only be applied on the armor forge. Oh, right, okay. That makes sense. Uh, we can make the armor forge now, I believe. And probably the tool forge too, so we could get a lumber axe. Which might be cool, because if we're looking at the quests um, for the Twilight Forest, we've done all these. All that we've got left is the Defeat the Night Phantom, which will be cool. We've got some Night Metal Ingots, which I think we use that for something. Then we, I guess we'll fight the Urghast, and I guess we'll go to the Highlands. And defeating the Giant. It looks like we want to do, whoa. We get a resonant flux bore, a resonant flux saw. Expanders. Okay. If a resonant flux capacitor. Yes. Yes, we are gonna complete that quest. That is some that is some cool loot. I wonder if the giants are really difficult. Alright, so we need a bunch of iron if we are going to upgrade our our tool station. So we need a tool forge. And you can make it out of all sorts of different stuff. Um, but iron is probably the cheapest. Hey, we can use copper actually. We have a ton of copper. Um, we have a, a large amount of copper because we found that massive copper vein. Yeah, we got heaps of copper. Let's make it out of copper. So if we made... We need four, another four in total. Cool. And I guess we'll make the ones out by the smeltery. It's kind of at Tinker's area. And we want to upgrade our armor station and our tool station. And we need some of these bricks. I think we need that many. And then it's like armor station, armor forge, tool forge. Awesome. And that's some more re uh, quest rewards. That was in the main quest line. Nice. Advanced tools. Oh boy. <laughs> A sunny doll. Um, okay. Experience, some blank casts. Blocks of iron. Ah, oh, alright. Plate of unsealing. It's used to unseal Tinker's artifacts that you get from dungeons and make them modifiable. Oh, so we, I'm assuming Tinker's artifacts are like pre made Tinker's tools or weapons. 
Need an excavate modifier, that's handy. Reinforcement, we can make something unbreakable. Resistance, looks like it'd be good for our armor. And some set glass. Inventory's holding up. From the armor workstation, we get magic temple. Cool, lots of prefab thing. More experience, small bank casts, blocks of iron, another unsealing, another excavate, more reinforcement, more resistance, more of that. Oh, there's a creeper. Ah, he must have. Probably that cat was the only thing keeping him away from us. So I might try these resistance modifiers. What do these do? Resistant, additional protection against all attacks. Right, can you stack it? Can. It is using modifiers. I'm just curious how far it goes up. Okay, that many. Alright, well I guess we'll put that on our Tinker's Armor. And it would be cool if we could actually, you know, see our Tinker's Armor. Oh, and the gauntlet. What did the gauntlet do? Nothing there. I think it might be an armor only thing. Yes. Attack speed increased. Alright. Nice. Reinforcement modifier, we could put it on our pick. We'll see how we go. We will see how we go. Um, excavate's definitely going on our on our pickaxe though. Oh, sunny doll. That uh, sets the weather to sunny when used. Kinda cool, kinda cool. Um, one thing I do want to make is a lumber axe because there's too many trees around the village and uh, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of trees everywhere. I mean, it does look quite nice, but I do find it kind of, I don't know, it just seems messy. I mean, the terrain's all pretty messy around here. But yeah, I think a lumber axe would be cool. Um, I would make a mining hammer, but in saying that, it looks like we're going to get a pretty cool flux bore reasonably soon. Reasonably soon. So let's just get a lumber axe. So I want to use copper because we'll get more experience when using the, the tool, which is always nice. Um, we definitely want to use iron for the axe head. And I'll wait for this other iron to smelt before I pour any more. We might not even have enough. We didn't even have enough iron in there, so iron. A little bit more iron. And we want an iron plate. And I'll make one plate out of stone. And we should be able to repair our axe with stone. It only takes one plate. Uh, we'll see how we go. The hammer takes two plates. So if we went with stone, it's iron stone lumber axe, so we could repair it with stone. I think we'll do that. We might just melt down that plate if we can. We can. Let's see how this lumber axe handles these modded trees. I suspect not great. Yeah. Doesn't actually recognize it as a tree. I'm just gonna mine stuff I don't want it to. So it's a little bit dumb. I don't mind like these trees in one go. Maybe even like these trees. Yeah, a little bit laggy when it does that actually. Very leggy. Gee, it doesn't handle the modded trees too good. Oh, um, I'll upgrade this with like diamond and redstone, and we'll be able to do some more, some more tidying up the village. Yeah, just getting rid of that stuff. Okay, no, I think that's pretty cool. Alright guys, we've managed to defeat the Alpha Yeti and the Snow Queen. Uh, only a couple more bosses we have to do. 
to finish the Twilight Forest. And uh, yeah, pretty soon we'll be able to go to the Nether. And that'll be cool. We'll be able to keep progressing through. We're probably going to tackle some tech stuff once we finish the Twilight Forest. Certainly have been falling behind in that department and just focusing on the adventure stuff. So that'll be cool. Looks like there's a few interesting looking multi-blocks we can get into as well. But hey, it's been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.